Hi, and welcome to Science for Schools. Today we're going to be investigating what happens to a spring when you add weight to it. So here we are, we have our spring, we have, uh, we're hanging this weight from it. We have a meter stick so we can measure what happens. We're going to see it's going to get longer and shorter. Um, just holding it all up with a retort stand. Uh, these are the weights we're going to add. Each of these is one newton, or 100 grams if you know that's one newton. So here we go, with no weight on, we can measure it's at 69.5 currently on the ruler. If we add on one of these weights, so it's one newton more than it was. See the spring is now a bit longer, and it's currently at 73.5 centimeters. To add on one more. We've got two extra newtons on the spring now, and we're at 77.5. Add another newton to this. And make sure it settles as well. You don't want it bouncing up and down when you're trying to read. Uh, that's about 82. I'm just going to add another one, make sure it settles, take my reading and it looks like 86. Now I'm just going to add one more. There is an issue with springs that if you extend them too much that they don't follow this law that we're going to look at now called Hooke's Law. If you deform the spring then it doesn't have the same uh, lots of properties that it had before and it ends up at 90 centimeters so as I say, I'm not going to add any more waste to that just to make sure that I don't damage the spring uh, now it's not the length of the spring that's important or what we read from the, the meter stick it's about how much longer it gets when we add those weights so I'm going to say that 69.5 centimeters is my kind of baseline. There's no extension in the spring at that stage. I haven't added any extra weight. Uh, here it's about 4 centimeters longer than it was, so the extension is 4 centimeters. Here we're at 77.5. Compare that to the original 69.5. It's now 8 centimeters longer than it was. And we do the same for these next three. You're going to get 12.5, 16.5, and 20.5. In each case, take the original length from the current length. That is how much longer it is. Now we're going to plot each of these on a graph. See, I have weight on my x-axis, and I have the extension on my y-axis. So. If my weight is zero, the extension is zero, so I have a point right here. If I have one newton, the extension is four centimeters, so I have one point there. When I hang two newtons from the spring, it's at eight. So eight centimeters longer than it was originally. When I add three newtons, it's at 12.5. About there. And uh, when I hang four newtons around, it's 16.5 centimeters longer. So, talking about there. And lastly, when I add five newtons to it, it's 20.5 centimeters longer than it was. So here's five newtons, here's 20.5 centimeters longer. And we mark it about there. Now, you may notice a bit of a pattern in between each of these points. And in fact, if we try and plot a best fit line through each of these, it should end up pretty much as a straight line between them all. That is to say, we verified Hooke's law that the extension of a stretch spring is proportional, directly proportional in fact, to the amount of extra weight you add to it. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next episode.